we're going to review again adding and subtracting integers. And this is uh, a topic that a lot of students seem to have difficulty with. So I'm going to show you um, a good little number line trick um, that'll help help with the adding and subtracting of the integers. Um, so let's do look at a few examples here. Uh, I'm going to do a positive 2 plus positive now, when we're, when we're adding and subtracting integers, often you'll see questions like this in the textbooks where there's all kinds of signs and brackets. The first thing we've got to do is eliminate a lot of these signs and brackets and get down to what's really happening here. So this is a positive 2, and we don't, we don't actually need the brackets around the positive 2 because nothing's... There's no work being done there. So this is really just a plus 2 or a 2. And then I'm going to add a plus 5. Well, that's just like adding 5. Adding a positive is just, is just adding. Now I've got, so I've gotten rid of the brackets and the signs. And every question that you do, you should be able to get it down to this. Something plus something or something minus something. So just a sign in front of the first number and a sign in front of the second number. And so this is 2, positive 2. We don't even need to write that. I could just write that as 2. And then I'm going to add 5. Once you're at this stage, 2 plus 5. So here's a number line here. This first number right here, 2, is your start number. It's where you're going to start on the number line. So I'm going to start at positive 2. This sign tells you which way to go. If it's positive, it means you're going to go right. And then this number tells you how far to go. So when you see a sentence like this, it really means start at 2 and go to the right 5. So I'm going to start at 2 on my number line. That's right here. And I'm going to, going to go to the right 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Where do I end up? I would end up at 7. So 2 plus 5 is equal to 7. Let's look at another example. How about negative 2 plus plus 4? So again, there's no need for these brackets in the front. This is just a negative 2. And if I'm going to add a positive 4, well, that's just like adding 4. I don't need the brackets around here either, so I'm going to add 4. So I have negative 2 plus 4. So here's my number line. And um, if, if you want to practice these, you, sh there, you should pick up the number line sheet so that uh, you have the sheet with a whole pile of number lines on just so that you can practice. Otherwise, you can draw them on your page. But eventually, you'll get good at doing this, and you'll be able to just visualize what you're doing in your head. So when I see a question like this, negative 2 plus 4, I'm thinking, OK, I'm going to start at negative 2. So I'm going to start right here. So in my mind, I'm visualizing negative 2 on my number line. And this is plus, so I know I'm going to go right. And how far am I going to go? I'm going to go right 4. So I'm going to start at negative 2, and I'm going to go to the right 1, 2, 3, Four. And where do I end up? I would end up at positive 2. So negative 2 plus 4 is positive 2. There is no, there's no sign rule when you're adding or subtracting, not like multiplying and dividing integers. So negative 2 plus 4, if you, have, if you start at a negative and you add something, sometimes that's negative, sometimes that's positive. So there's no... There's no real shortcut or little trick to adding and subtracting integers. We need to have visualize it on an, a number line. Now, how about 6 plus negative 7? So 6, positive 6. I'm going to start at positive 6. Don't need those brackets. Now, here I'm going to add a negative. Remember, when you're adding a negative, that's the same thing as subtracting. So when you see two signs side by side, I don't mean like this sign here and this sign here. I mean two signs literally side by side. Plus, plus, we can say is adding. If you're adding a positive, that's, that's addition. If you're adding a negative, 
you're subtracting. If you're subtracting a positive, that's subtracting. And if you're subtracting a negative, that's adding. So when the signs are side by side, you could use a sign rule and say, I'm adding a negative. You're just, you're just taking 7 away. You're subtracting. Um, so positive 6 plus negative 7 is like 6 take away 7. So on my number line, here's my start number. And I need to go left this time because it's negative. And I'm going to go left 7. I'm going to start at 6 on the number line. And I'm going to go left 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. If you start at 6 and move to the left 7 on the number line, you end up with negative 1. So positive 6 minus 7 is negative 1. How about we have negative 5 minus positive 3? So I don't need the brackets at the beginning here. This is just negative 5. I'm going to minus a positive number, so I'm going to subtract 3. Two signs side by side, negative plus. Negative plus is a, is a negative. So subtracting 3. Negative 5, take 3 away. So I start at negative 5, start number here, and go left because it's negative. And then the next number is going to tell me how much. Go left 3. So start at negative 5. I'm going to the left 3. So I would end up at negative 8. So negative, three, negative 5 minus positive 3, which is really just negative 5 minus 3. So my negative 5 and minusing 3 more would put me at minus 8. Let's look at these last couple of examples here. Negative 2 minus minus 5. Okay, so that was good. The first one didn't have brackets. doesn't need it. Negative 2, but minus, minus. Minus, minus, when you're subtracting a negative, that's the same thing as adding. So now I've got it down to my two signs, negative 2 plus 5. So I'm going to start at negative 2, and I am well, positive, so go right, 5. So start at negative 2. And moving to the right, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, I would end up at positive 3. And so when you do a bunch of these, start with a number line, draw them out if you have to, or get a, get a piece of paper that has, uh, I've made some papers up already that have the number lines on them, and you can use those. Um, but once you've done a bunch with the number lines, eventually in your head, you should be able to visualize negative 2 on your number line and think, okay, I'm going to the right 5, so where would I end up? I'm going to end up at 3 when I move to the right 5 from negative 2. So eventually you should be able to do these sort of number lines in your head, visualize what's happening. Let's try, let's try this one. So positive 6, and we're going to minus positive 1. So minusing positive 1 is just subtracting 1. So Start at 6 on the number line, and go left, 1. So start at 6 on the number line and go left, 1. Where would we end up with? We'd end up at 5. So that's how we add, one of the ways that we can show adding and subtracting in integers and visualize it. Um, so just to review again, take the time to get it down to one number at the start here, either a positive 6 or a negative 6, and then one sign here, either we're adding something or we're subtracting something. So if you've got questions laid out like this where there's multiple signs side by side, simplify it so it's just something minus something or something plus something. And then once we have it in that form, it's very easy using a number line. This will always be our start number. Negative, we're going left. Positive, we're going right. And then the number at the end is going to tell us how far we need to go.